Man, the reason I'm trying to hustle a little bit, it is toasty out here in the studio. Okay, whoa, one, two, and three. Oh my, my. You know me, I love a good pivot on the daily vlog. We're pivoting today. So I took the Puma DV8 Nitro Elite past 50 miles today. There's the run on your screen. That was the game plan for today's vlog, but we're pivoting because give the people what they want. On yesterday's live stream, I think it may have been Daniel. He stumped me. Shout out to, I, I don't remember if it was Daniel, but uh, sorry about that. But he basically brought up the idea, Seth, if you could only buy three running shoes for under $300, which shoes would you buy to build out your running shoe rotation? And I was stumped because I was thinking about new shoes, 2021 shoes, and it's just really hard to build a running shoe rotation for under $300. So therefore, um, and also this topic was then continued on Discord on the Road Running Shoes channel. And whenever that happens, whenever a topic picks up some momentum, I realize, ooh, this is a good idea for a vlog. Okay, so uh, the light just went out in here, so that's no good, but I think we'll still try it. Hopefully you can uh, maybe see me. Okay, here we go. Comment of the day goes out to Doug. And yes, it, I don't know if you can even see me right now. It pays to comment because, oh, there we go. Let there be light. There we go. It's a good day to get the comment of the day. Here we go, Doug Moore. Seth, you just need to carbon plate your next studio and call it the studio elite or studio pro i like your creativity doug good job there so you get the comment of the day and because of that so it pays to answer that question of the day doug i'm buying you a fresh pair of road shoes or trail shoes you email me okay email me um I, it's on the website just so you know demoreglobalrunning.com email me and i'm gonna buy you a fresh pair of running shoes okay any shoes you want from Running warehouse. Okay, find these shoes now. Here we go. I, I know which three I want. Just gotta find them. Okay, again, it's not quite organized in here. I think I found it. Speaking of running shoes, look what just showed up. Thank you, FedEx. We'll open this up in one second here. Okay, we are ready. Now, what's great? Actually, the shoes are on the shelf behind me. If you can pick them out, uh, three shoes for under $300. But this was a very interesting exercise and treasure hunt to go on. But I'm realizing I made a mistake. And I'll explain what that mistake is here in one second. First, uh, one of the rules of the game that I created on the fly was I wanted to keep the price under $300, including taxes. But, of course, taxes are different all around the world, even across the United States, depending on which state you live in. But that was my goal, at least, you know, here in Colorado, to keep the tax, keep everything under $300. And I think I did that. Also, uh, what I guess my other rule, which is why I'm not going to use the three shoes I just picked from the archive, from the storage unit, is that I wanted to find one pair, or sorry, I wanted to find three pairs all in one size because obviously if it was daniel asking if let's say he's a size 11 i wanted to find three shoes that are available from 2020 which is not always easy to do uh, to find last year's iteration now there's always ebay there's amazon there's a lot of different places you can look for old shoes just so you know now you know i work with running warehouse so that's my go-to source so here you are here it is on your screen i'm searching around digging around but there are many many other sites you can go to to find last year's models just so you know but for me for the sake of time i had to stick to one source so i stuck with running warehouse oh yeah also one more point is i've made a couple vlogs about and I'll, I'll link to them down below in the description also probably a shout out at the end of the vlog uh, how to build out my strategy for building out your running shoe rotation again they'll be linked down below also oh man if i was a billionaire maybe a millionaire but a billionaire i would pay for everybody to get on Discord, okay? If I win the jackpot, if I win the lottery, and maybe a Powerball, all right, and like $500 million, I, I'm serious. The fire that's happening right now on Discord, especially on the Road Shoes channel, where we are, 
we went off for about 30 or 40 minutes just typing back and forth to each other trying to strategy it was like a game it was a fun it was fun i was actually getting my car uh oil change and i was just, we were just going back like who could find the best deals all over the interwebs anyway shout out to the fire happening on Discord. Like, uh, I just wish I could bring everybody on board. All 130,000 plus folks out there, but maybe someday down the road. Okay, here we go. Let's do it. First collection. And the reason I'm not using these three shoes that I just worked so hard to uh, pick from the archive is because I realized, at least on Running Warehouse, the sizes, there's hardly any sizes available. There's like a not one nine and a half, one twelve and a half size, you know, US sizing. So my three originals, let's talk about a downer, Debbie Downer. Like I was just sorry if your name's Debbie. Uh, I, feel, I always feel bad when I say Debbie Downer. But the three shoes that I originally was gonna pick that I that I was thinking of in the uh, archive. One of them, I wanted to be a carbon fiber plate. All right, so that was a challenge. But of course, I went with the Audi Zero Pro was my first choice. It's not a full, it's not a true carbon fiber plate. It's uh, Carbitex, I think is the plate in there. Essentially kind of like a, a nylon plate. In, but I wanted one shoe with, I believe it's, ugh, I think it was $94 or $84 right now from Running Warehouse, but the sizes, there's hardly any sizes available, okay? So that would be the racing shoe, more so 10 mile, I think 10K, 10 mile, half marathon. Um, that, not a marathon shoe, if you, if you were really resilient, you could use it for a marathon, but there you go. That was number one for the racing category. Tempo day, picking up the paces, Audi, uh, Adidas, Boston 9, but again, hardly any sizes available at this point. For the colorway, now maybe the new color, anyway, at least the colorway I was researching, this would be the faster pick it up paces, tempo day in your training regimen. All right, Boston 9, I think it was $94, or maybe that was $84, and then of course, the original Nova Blast, okay? Even though it gave me blisters, um, daily trainer, if you're willing to uh, resist going fast, I think it could be your easy day shoe, but it could because of that stack height and it's got enough on the durometer. Oh, it's still buttery soft for that easy day. Oh, and this is la like this is an old midsole, so that's that's amazing. And then uh, long run shoe, absolutely could use this for a long run shoe. Definitely. It's a little, maybe a little unstable for some folks. It feel it's a little bit of a higher stack height, a little narrower through the landing uh, on the outsole, but overall, those were my three originals. To st I think my total came out to about $285 or 286 with taxes, somewhere around there. But again, the uh, availability was very, very limited. So moving on to the new rotation, which I did not, you know, I didn't grab these. Uh, I didn't grab one of them. Actually, let's just dive in. So I'm gonna go Skechers Horizon Vanish, size 11 very nimble midsole you got to have strong ankle this is the vanish 2 yeah the sketchers horizon vanish 2 for 84 dollars okay and again i'll link to all these down below in the description it's very nimble very lightweight more of a 5k racing shoe now it's sketchers the midsole is not amazing but for 84 dollars not too shabby very lightweight uh, through the upper. So anyway, there you go. Skechers Horizon Vanish 2. We'll put that back on the shelf. Next up uh, is the, oh yeah, this is the one that I, I forgot to, well, I did not grab from the storage unit, was the original Rebel. Okay, New Balance Rebel for $94 right now. Original Rebel for $94. Now the Rebel V2, I'd say is an amazing upgrade for $129. But for $94, that shoe would be the Tempo Day. That, that's replacing the Boston, okay? And it's a ton of sizes still available. Again, I decided to go with size 11 as the challenge for finding three shoes. So we've got plenty of size 11s. Actually, let's take these down. We've got plenty of size 11s for the Horizon Vanish 2 and then the uh, Rebel, the original Rebel. And last but not least, of course, is back to the Nova Blast. Plenty of size 11s for the... Nova Blast. So one more time, Horizon Vanish 2 for racing. Um, I really wanted a carbon fiber plate, but this is 5K, 10K, lean midsole. You feel confident in your foot strike. You're not worried about uh, 
You're not worried about, you know, overpronating or supinating. And there you go. There's pro there's better there's better options out, but it was hard to stay under three hundred dollars. Is all I gotta say. So there's that. And then uh, the the original Rebel, which again, just a nice solid tempo day shoe. And, you know, I wouldn't quite use it for a threshold, but if you needed to, you could try to use it for a threshold. Uh, but then, of course, the Nova Blast to knock out your easy day, middle distance, long run. Uh, there you go. And obviously, these three shoes are road shoes. We'll have to try that. That actually be even more challenging to do this for trail shoes. Whew! Whew! Oh, man, got to take a breath. All right, I think that's it for now. And speaking of shoes, I do need to acquire, actually, we'll see what's in this box. I do need to acquire some shoes that are out there percolating on the interwebs and I have not tested yet. And that's the question of the day. If you could pick two shoes, whether it's road or trail, pick two shoes that I should order personally because they just haven't been sent to me from a company and you really want me to test that shoe. So which shoes should I buy? And I'm gonna buy them in the next couple days based on your comments down below. And remember Doug, winning shoes. So who knows, maybe I'll pick another winner, winner, chicken dinner. So um, if you could comment below two shoes that I should order in the next couple days to test out next in the studio. Okay, let's open this box up. Here we go. Now, you obviously, you probably don't want to uh, choose the two shoes that are, I can tell there's two shoes in here, um, and I do not know who this is from. So, here we go. Okay. Whoo! I just, uh, man, the reason I'm trying to hustle a little bit, it is toasty out here in the studio. Okay. Whoa! One, two, and three! Oh, my, my! Whoa, Adidas in the house. Adidas, that's exciting. Oh my, okay. Oh my. I probably should have done the blindfold test, but that's maybe for the next one. There's another box. I'll do the blindfold test for the next one. Here we go. One, two, and three. Butter to all. Oh. oh, wait a minute. Yes. Oh my, my. Oh my, my. The Boston 10. So remember the Boston 9? One of their, oh my, my, this is a game changer. They really, 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 really updated the Boston lineup. So there's the Boston 10. Whoa, oh my, my, there's the rods. Do you see the rods in there? Oh my goodness, I am freaking out everybody. Okay, I'm gonna close my eyes. We'll put the Boston 10 over there. Woo, Adidas bringing the heat. Da 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 da, da 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 da. Let's see. I, you know, I, okay, here we go. One, two, and three. Oh, 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 hold on. Hold on. Okay. Oh, 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 this is the audio six, right? Audio six. Oh, no, not even close. I, <laughs> Speed Ultra. Whoa, very cool. Very interesting. Okay, I, I guess this is the guy's version, but it's pink. It's a lot of pink on there, but that's okay. Remember, that's why colorways don't bother me. I don't, as long, all I care about is the performance. Very exciting. Thank you, Adidas. You see how I'm switching from Adidas to Adidas? You Europeans are influencing my, uh, my lingo here in the studio. All right, unbelievable. Wow, I'm a little um, blown away. Okay, very exciting. Woo, there's the thumbnail right there, right there, right there. Oh. Okay, we will toss it to the, we will toss it to, uh, what are we going to toss it to? We will toss it to um, how to build out your running shoe rotation. <sighs> Breathe. Keep breathing, everybody. Even if it's hot out, just keep breathing. That's the key. Right there, right there, right there. All right, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. All right, guys, onward and upward. See you tomorrow.